Welcome back to another GeekWatt video, and it's part of my new Techie Terminology series, and we're talking about VRAMP today, um, and, and complicated te Techie Terminology. So for more videos like this, click the link in the description below, but first, what is VRAM? So VRAM is a special type of memory, often referred to as dual port memory, because it can, it can be accessed by two devices simultaneously, and it can read and write at the same time. So it can read data and write data, so in other words, it can open and save things at exactly the same time, just to put it into the simple terms. It's short for video RAM, VRAM, it's, that's what it's stands for and it has a, a lot of special quantities and a lot of special qualities as I've already stated. VRAM is used in graphics cards because graphics cards like their own dedicated memory and is often referred to as the frame buffer of the graphics card. Um, it's a lot faster and, um, than, uh, DDR, than your typical DDR3 or DDR4 that's used in by your, by your system or your CPU normally uh, but that is also why it's in smaller quantities um, and why graphics cards can be so expensive because not only do they have the processing chip but that memory which is also more expensive than your typical than your typical DDR3 or DDR4. That is also the reason that people recommend a, a higher clock DDR3 or DDR4 for APU systems because that APU, the graphics bit of that APU does want the fast memory and that is where graphics cards, dedicated discrete GPUs do benefit hugely from having, uh, from having their own memory that is faster because they do like that fast memory. So VRAM stands for video RAM, often referred to as dual port memory, and is very, very important in your system. At the moment, if you're looking at the budget end, you want to get around at, at least nowadays 2 gigabytes of VRAM, which is pretty much good for 1080p low textures. Um, at the higher end of the 1440p, uh, the 2K, the 4K, you are going to be looking at 3, 4, 5, and even 6 gigabytes of VRAM. And if you want to be an absolute idiot or be ridiculous for some reason, or you want to do a crazy 4-way SLI setup, then go for something such as the Titan X uh, with its 12 gigabytes of VRAM. But for now, that, that would be my guidelines. If you have found out this video helpful and do now know what VRAM is, do drop a like rating below. And if you've got any questions, I'll try and get back to them. Put them in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next GeekWatt video.